go. Got a favour I need to ask. Now, Phil, stop keeping Susie all to yourself. Susie, put your bloody handbag down and get over here, woman. That's an order. Let's get some more drinks organised. Yeah, you're right. I'll get these. Well, we can't rely on the house. No, that's all right. It's taken care of, OK? What's everyone out no, there? I said it's taken care of, didn't I? That's my pub. If people want a drink, I'll deal with it. So just back off, will you? I've got a lovely bottle of bubbly upstairs, all the way from Reams via Weymouth. <laughs> I suppose now's a good time as any. You told Ronnie her daughter was dead! You lied to her! For her own good. For everybody's good. I heard what you said. How you talk to your own daughter! Yeah, now she's wrecked the wedding. Well, maybe it needed wrecking. Maybe I should have done what me gut told me and turned the car around and left for the hills. You don't mean that. You're everything she said you were. I know it now. I knew it then. I felt it in here. But I loved you so much, I turned the other way. Maggie, come on. This is me. You're Archie, eh? The love of your life. No, I haven't changed. Just let it settle. You see, it's just a storm in a teacup. It's a storm in a teacup. And what about what she said about Susie, eh? About you paying her off? She was renting, that's all. You know, she found a postcard. Susie's trying to wind your mum up. And I, I got rid of it. That's all. I just didn't want you hurt. Now, Ronnie is going to bring that girl back in here and she's going to tell us everything. So why don't you just come clean, tell us the truth, or do I have to beat it out of you, Archie? Eh? Do I? All I ever wanted was... what was best for my girls. Peggy. Oh, try clicking your fingers and see where it gets you. Darling, you don't mean that. You know, you and this... My family, that, that's all I want. Phil, Phil, just deal with him, will you? Get him out of my sight. It's Danielle, there's been an accident. I'll go straight. Maybe you should be taking it easy. Maybe you should mind your own business. Around you. Are you heard? So get out before I throw you out. <laughs> I walk out the door without a whisper. As soon as I see my wife. Well, you're gonna have a long wait. Mm -hmm. It's hard being a dad, isn't it, eh? I found out my 14-year-old was five months pregnant. And maybe I didn't do the right thing by her, but well, you tell me, Phil. What would you have done better? She kicks off again, she's barred. This is all Mum needs. I'll keep an eye on her, all right? Same again, Trace. It's all right, Trace, I'll do it. I didn't ask you. Please, Stacey. I need to talk to you. It was a bit late for a catch-up, innit? She was my daughter. You couldn't care less, but she was still here, though, could you? I didn't know who she was, did I? How could I? Why didn't she tell me who she was? I don't understand. Because you were such a heartless cow. Get out. Trace, get Phil. Phil. I said get out! You heard her, you deaf or something, get out! I'm here at your mother's invitation. Tell him, Peggy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. What? Yeah. There's two sides to everything, huh? We've got a lot to talk about. Only Peg. Oh, I never said anything about talking. I thought, um, you might want these back. Uh, some are a bit worse for the wear. But most of them are in good condition. I thought you might want them for Janine when you start the old Stepford wife routine on her. It's not like that, Peggy. Oh, don't give me that. You lied to me from the moment I set eyes on you again. Peggy. Yeah, you never loved me. You used me to get to your girls, to get what you wanted, no matter who got hurt along the way. Because it's always been about you, Archie Mitchell, hasn't it? And it always will be. So come on, pick up your trash and swing your hook! 
Well, come on. What are you waiting for, eh? Things right. You can't. I can try. You ain't wanted. But when Peggy tells me that, I'll go. Her words to my face. Yeah, well, I'm telling you. The question is, are you too stupid to listen, eh? My business is with Peggy. And until she says otherwise, I'm staying put. And you get it wrong, Philip. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Be okay. Let me go. If you so much as glance in the direction of my family again, this time I will kill you. It's just a toy. Why are you got it? It's just the mates, okay? What are you doing? Dad! Nothing. Nothing. 
I'm not doing anything. I think we should walk. Time to die. We are going for a drive. Epping Forest. I used to go there as a kid. Me and Grant, we used to play cowboys and Indians. We used to shoot each other, play dead, and get up and then do it all over again. Only me and you are going to go there this time. Um, and we're going to play that game. Only difference is you won't be getting up. You, you'll be stopping there. <laughs> and then, then the animals will come. Because they'll eat anything, even something as rotten as you. They will have a feast. Peggy will never forgive you. Oh, yes, she will. Yeah. In time, she'll see how I done good for her. Because she thought she needed Grant last time, but she done. I'll show her the only son she needs is me. Phil, look, I'm changed. I'm Cowboys different. and Indians, Archie. Listen to me, Phil. Are you getting it? Hey, are you getting it in your head? Can you see what's going to happen? You are dead, rotting in the ground, dead. Phil, your boy needs in. Tracy, do us a favour, give that back to Ronnie. She must have dropped it somewhere. What the hell are you doing here? Tracy will explain. I'm, uh, I'm on my way. Do us that, Trace. And what are you doing with this? I'm just handing it back. Ronnie left it at Janine's. And what was she doing at Janine's? Having sex with Janine's lodger. Ryan's his name. Young lad. You might have met him. He's been working here lately, I believe. Maybe you don't want to mention that. Ronnie might not be altogether happy with the idea of me knowing. Perhaps you can tell he just found it somewhere. There's a party at my place, Thursday lunchtime, if you fancy it. Ben, quick glasses. Hey, you OK? Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. So, with you two by my side, why wouldn't I be? Yeah. Thank you. Good riddance to bad rubbish, that's what I say. Don't mince your words, Phil. I'm only saying what everybody's thinking. Write a toast. To divorce, to family. And to happy Christmas. <laughs> happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yeah? I think you better come down. Ben, wait there a second. Just stay there. Hello, Peggy. What can I get you? Get out of here and take a tacky child ride with you. <laughs> Oh, I'd be a little bit nicer if I were you. Well, you're not me, are you? And you never will be. I wouldn't be so sure. Just get out. Go on, get out. Yeah, well, Ian sold me the loan. Get <laughs> him, Phil. Don't. It is lies. Because that's what he does. Naughty, naughty. You've missed the deadline. You can't just... Dad! I can, and I have. Well, no, it's not actually your pub, is it? It's mine. Hi, you. What are you playing at? Um, well, I'll give you three seconds to get off that ladder. One, two, three, five, two, three. Go on, get your finger up. What are we going to do? We'll barricade the doors if we have to. Come on. Right. Oh, Phil, Phil, do something. No, no. You leave it to me, OK? This is a loan agreement. Just a few bits and pieces from the land registry. And guess what it means? You're all trespassing. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you, eh? Veronica, don't embarrass yourself. What do you think? that you're going to come moving back into here and we're going to come running into your arms. You can take this place brick by brick if you have to, but we are not going to give up, not without a fight. So you take your grubby little tart and you get out! Go on, get out! You get your hands off her! That's it, go on, Dad! Do it, do it in front of a pub full of witnesses! Stop it, will you? Veronica. 
Monica's perfectly capable of defending herself. She is pregnant! Now, do you want to leave through the door or through the window? Your choice. I've tried to play fair, Peggy, but now's the time to make it as painful as possible. Oh, no, I want you to sit down. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Right, Amber, scratch her bleeding eyes no, out. No, that's enough. I invited them here. Well, what for? Because I'm tired of fighting. Hey, you, you don't have to do this. There's more to the Mitchells than bricks and mortar. We're a family, and families stick together. Because without each other, what have we got? A cold, empty building. I hope you'll both be very happy here. Hey, oh! What do you think? Do you mind if we go upstairs to pack? Take all the time you need. You coming, Phil? Right behind you. Well, don't just stand there, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the evening. First drinks are on the house. Suit yourselves. door to the cellar, it sticks sometimes. It just needs a good kick, that's all. Oh, oh Phil, will you go ahead? I've left something upstairs. If I was you, I'd sleep with my eyes wide open. <laughs> 